Hi guys, it's We Did, and I'm here with just a, a quick little bit of information about cheap substrates. Now, I really, really enjoy working on hardboard, uh, primarily when I'm doing encaustic or cold wax. Uh, hardboard is my substrate of choice, and these are some nice substrates that I purchased. They're hardboard panels. They're six by six. They're cleanly cut. Okay, and uh, these are super nice. And if I'm going to work uh, six by six, then I tend to just purchase my substrates from Dick Blick. But I went to Lowe's and I went to their paneling uh, department, and I picked up a eight eight feet by four feet sheet of hardboard. And I had them cut it down. I actually did two. The first one I did, I had them cut into 12 by 12 blocks, uh, panels, okay? And this is one of those panels. Now, I'm just going to show you if you know, the edge is not perfect. I need to take and sandpaper it just a little bit. You can see it better. This is a smaller one that I had cut and I did not sand it because this is just a rough practice uh, piece. So, but the gesso kind of highlights that you do need to just run a little bit of sandpaper over it and then I, uh, I gessoed it and I'll be using this. The reason I'm bringing this up is that Eight, by, uh, 8 feet by 4 feet sheet of hardboard is 32 square feet. So I got 32 12 inch panels for $15. And for that kind of savings I can very easily just take a minute and run uh, a little bit of sandpaper here along the edge. For a 12 by 12 the cuts were very accurate, they were very consistent, and again for $15 I got 32 substrates. Super, super happy with that. It was a different matter when I got the um, next 8 feet by 4 feet sheet cut. I got it cut into 8 by 8 inches. Well, you know, their cutting machine is set up to cut sheets of hardboard and, and paneling for, do, for, for walls, okay? So they really couldn't handle the 8x8 eight eight size. So some of these, I want to show you, some of these are exactly 8x8, eight eight, but some aren't, okay? So, and you can see this one is not, uh, I believe this one is 8x8. Eight and at the top of the, it's usually when they get down to the last row that they're cutting, the, uh, the way the supports are, it makes it very hard to cut 8x8 eight eight accurately because it's not supported on the back side. It's just the way their, their whole saw is set up. So I would get um, several rows of good 8x8 eight eight sheets, I mean 8x8 eight eight substrates that are consistent and work very well. But when it, it came down to that very last row that they were cutting, um, it isn't. Still, these are great for practice, and I did not count how many 8x8 eight eight pieces I got, but it was of obviously more than 32, again, for $15. And the cutting was free. They did not charge me. I went to Lowe's, but I think you could go to um, almost any home supply store, uh, Home Depot, those kind of stores, and they will cut the, the hardboard for you. Uh, it's just, it's a super, super deal. I tend to make my gesso, and then with the savings on hardboard, I mean, I'm super happy. So that's just a tip. Uh, and if you have any questions about this, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty good about answering the, the questions that come up, but this was just such a great deal. And if you're like me, you care about your substrates and you're kind of picky about them, but at the same time, there are other things you would rather spend your money on than on the substrates. So, thank you guys.
Bye-bye.